So I was going to give an update on the garden. It's July 3rd. So in the greenhouse, it, it's been really hot. It's 90 some degrees. So the peppers are kind of hanging in there. Uh, the fig's doing good. The moringa trees, they are really growing. And what I'm going to do today, I've never had moringa. The leaves are really good for you and nutritious. I'm going to take off these bottom, these two bottom ones, and put those in my salad. So I'll have to <laughs> let you know how they taste. I have no idea. And the cucumbers are going crazy. My favorite is the Telegraph Improved. They're long, skinny. You can eat the, um, the rind of them. And there's hardly any seeds. They stay crunchy. And I'm trying Bayet Alpha. I think this other one here is Bayet Alpha. Um, and they're supposed to be smaller. So I'm, I'm getting some on there. So we'll go out here and see. The beets are hanging in there. Of course the squash, the summer squash likes the heat. Um, I've got one tree colored, tree kale, I think is what it is, and it looks okay. I had to pick off some leaves that some of the um, caterpillars were eating. Of course, okra loves the heat. It's doing okay. The lettuce, I'm going to have to pull it all up, and I think I've got, I'm just going to put in, use this as a filler. I've got in some more cucumbers I'm growing from seed and some summer squash for when these die out. I'll just use this bed to fill in. Green beans are up. Those are doing good. Another summer squash and some beets and chard. And they're doing good. Onions, I'd say another week, maybe two. Two weeks, because they're not really. They're bulbing up, but they, the tops will die down, turn brown, and then flop over. And then that's when you harvest them. Tomatoes are going crazy. I need to get in here and, um, you know, kind of thin them out a little bit and prune them. But you can see I'm getting them quite a bit on there. And this uh, perpetual spinach, Malabar spinach. I'm excited. It's growing up this all by itself. So um, I'll wait till it gets a couple, uh, another couple feet taller and then try it. I've never tried that. And the herbs are doing really well. And then the garlic, I'm going to harvest this today. You can see it's probably a fourth of its brown on top. And if you wait too long, then the bulbs will start to split. So you want to go ahead and get those up. Um, I will weed the garden. And I'm going to plant this pink celery. Uh, but it's too hot right now so I'll just weed this all really good and get some fresh compost in here and here in a couple weeks when it, we're kind of in a drought in Indiana and I'll plant some of that celery and I don't know what I'm going to do with this this herb chamomile it's so pretty I hate to dig it up I mean let it go for a little while I've been snacking on the gooseberries and I harvested some black currants. And these herbs are really doing good. They're in flower. This here is just um, perennial sunflower. So it's just for decoration. And everything else is either goji berry right here, or these are some herbs and the bees. They like them. That is betony. These are enjoying and this is blue vervain you can see how it's really tall it's probably five feet tall so that is the July garden <laughs>